ora 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 Ko kahura ni aroki snap to kuingoa, a heiri tēnei no ngā waka o te arawa, o taimu, o horota, o takitimu me mātātou huki. No ngā wai uku o wai uku, anō roto o ngā titiata tēnei, um, ko te ara minhinak to kuingoa. He ringa toi au, a he mokopuna e noho nei ki angarihe o, o kumāsa tūpuna. Um, no reira, ai, kia ora. Tēnā koutou, uh, ko Maya Whanawila tōku ingoa, ko Mila Tiao, taku kōtiro, uh, ko Ngāti Awa, um, tōku iwi, uh, e noho ana au i Whakatani. Kia ora. Ko Lana Cable tōku ingoa, he uri a hau no Ngāti Awa, Ngāti Puke ko me tūhoi hoki. I'm a researcher, I'm an artist, and most importantly, I'm a mama. I'm currently living along our awa, yeah, so Toitu Te Moana, I think it started by us just meeting online. Um, so these are people that I knew and that I'd been friends with um, and that I'd met. So I met a few from Whitecliffe and then I met a few at Toitu Toi Ora, which was the show down at our Auckland Art Gallery. Um, and then we all met together online because of lockdown, but also because we lived so far apart from each other. Um, and then we just got like a whiteboard out and then just started brainstorming, mm -hmm. yeah, about um, what perhaps a proposal of a show could be. A lot of late night zoos and mm. catch-ups and you know, a lot of writing together for the proposal. Yeah, no, it's been a whole process, but it's another thing again to now be in the space and be able to have the whole hair together at the gallery mm -hmm. and settle in. Originally, as a Fakatoki, Toy Tu Te Fenua, Patangarongaro Te Kamata. Um, so people may disappear, but the land will always remain. And so we kind of applied that to the Moana as well. Been here since Mairano and will always be here. So that's also been the grounding for our whole exhibition and the whole proposal as well. So it made sense that the title was referencing that. I think just seeing how other people work and how quite in sync we've all become in terms of our whakaar or the wānanga that we go into, there's just a really strong sense of understanding. There wasn't so much having to explain or justify like our separate ideas, like they all just made sense. Toi Tu Te Moana reminds me the ocean doesn't divide us and that it connects us. I think that's probably the best collaborative experience I've had working with a group. So I guess our show came from us working together in an idea. So it's like a single conscious or a single intention. Mm -hmm. And beginning in that point, you can only kind of um, find ways and that switches over throughout the show too. I think that they will, in everyone's work, I think they'll see that there was like, um, there's like this collective understanding of whakapapa in each one. And they're very, very different, but um, it just reaffirms those connections that we have to each other, to the whenua, mm -hmm. to the moana, to Hawaii, to where the tides meet. And, you know. mm -hmm. All the different points we're taking are different points, like we're all from different areas of Aotearoa, so our perspective of certain stories are all different. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's where Salim of Hawaii is really beautiful, is like we all, when we sat down and talked about Hawaii, all our views of Hawaii are all different. And that comes from our tūpuna maybe, or mm -hmm. whatever we've been told growing up, and what we've been taught through that. Um, so that's, I think, I feel like, or oh, hope, that's what you see when you walk in.